Hey everyone, welcome back to InfoGamer. This is Charlie. Today we're going to do a tutorial on how to import a sprite sheet into Unity and set it up so that we can later animate it. It's going to be just a simple character um, that I created in Photoshop and the video of me creating it should be uploaded as well. Okay, so here we go. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a folder over in our assets project and I'm going to call it sprites. It's good to name things that make sense because it'll keep you better organized. All right, so in our sprite folder, we're going to find where I have my image created and saved, and I'm going to just drag it in. Now, what we're gonna do is, uh, it's not a single sprite sheet, it's uh, multiple sprites uh, on the same sheet. And then, so we switch it to multiple and we're going to click apply and then open it up in the sprite editor. These are all the different pieces of my character. We're going to go ahead and slice up our sprite sheet and separate the individual pieces. You can do it automatically, but when I tried to do it on this, it didn't quite get everything the way that I wanted it. And so you can also do it manually by clicking and dragging boxes around the sprites that you need. So because we split up the sprites this way, we need to make sure that our sprite sheet that we use in Unity, if you're just doing it uh, within the program, you need to make sure that every Everything is separated in a way that when you create a box around it you're not going to get like other things inside your box or else it'll kind of mess up your sprites and you'll have artifacts of other objects in the singular sprites that you want to have so uh, here is the head in a box so we're just gonna do this for each piece so I'm gonna quickly uh, separate all of these in their individual boxes and uh, resize them to fit and then I will, and then I'll talk about it after. Okay, so here we are. We have all of our individual pieces all separated in their little boxes. And I just wanted to point out and say that when you are resizing it to fit, you want to make sure you move the blue box. So you grab the corners and drag them around so that everything is contained within the box. Another thing that's important is uh, because we're doing this all in Unity for this video or for this character, we're going to make sure that our pivots are where we want them to be. So when you have your sprite selected in the box, you have this little circle right here. We're going to drag that circle to wherever we want the pivots to be. Now for the torso, it doesn't matter that much just because that's going to be the, the main part of our hierarchy. So it's not really going to rotate around anything. Um, so we'll just put it here in the center. And then we're going to select each of our objects, each of our sprites, and we're going to put the pivot where we want it to actually rotate from. So like where the joints are in your character. And because this is a human, we're going to put them where they're supposed to be. And you can always change them later. If you put them all together and you build your character out in the scene and then you realize that, oh hey, this doesn't rotate where I want it to, or that's not where the joint goes, then you can always come back into your sprite editor and fix where you have your pivot point in order to get the motion to look better, correct, or whatever. Okay, now that we have all of our pivots roughly where we want them to be, we're going to click apply again and then uh, go ahead and exit out. Now what we're going to do is in our scene hierarchy we're going to create a 2D object, a sprite. Then we're going to open up our sprite sheet. It's going to give us all of our individual sprites that we made that we boxed out and then we can... well I'm just going to go ahead and count right now and then make as many new sprites as I need to. 12. I have 12 uh, different sprites so I can go ahead and open the sprite here and then drag the sprite into the sprite slot and then I'm going to rename this to, I'll just call it Kratos and this is the head. And then now what I can do is I can take this object and duplicate it as many times as I need to. So I have one, then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And now for each of these, I'm going to drag my sprites from my folder, from my uh, sprite sheet folder, into that sprite slot for each one. And then, um, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to rename them what they are, and then, and I'll just fast forward through this part and I'll uh, talk to you about it after. Okay, now that I have each of the individual sprites um, inputted into a sprite object, I'm going to take all of them and just kind of spread them out so I can see them. 
Okay, so here's all my uh, floating appendages. So now what we need to do is we need to change the layer order of our sprites so that when they are in the scene and they're moving around, they're going to be behind what they need to be, like within the picture. The way I drew uh, our character is I made this hand, this right hand, is going to be the furthest thing from the camera. And so that's what we're going to set at layer zero. It's by default, it's layer zero. Everything's layer zero. So we're just going to uh, change in order kind of what lays on top of what. And then that will make it so that we don't have any weird overlapping um, as we go. Because you wouldn't want his back arm to somehow be in front of his front arm. Because that wouldn't look realistic or right for his animations. So this is our first layer. We're going to have his right hand. And then we're going to, on top of that, goes his right arm. And so that we're going to make layer one. And then from there, since we have 12, we're going to go all the way up to 11 because it starts at zero. So zero through 11 will give us 12 objects. The next thing um, in front of that will, is going to be his right uh, calf. So that'll be object two in layer two. And then his foot will be layer three. And his thigh will be layer four. And it kind of just depends on how you draw your character and the way and what overlaps within your um, within your drawing. And this is just the way that I separated my character and my drawing. Um, and so now that we have his arms and his leg and his right arm and his right leg uh, in the back because they're going to be the furthest from the from the camera. And then what comes next is going to be his torso. So we're going to select his torso and make that, I think we're on layer five. So that's layer five. And then from there, we want his leg to be behind his arm so that when his arm sw uh, swings in front, uh, it's not going to clip under his thigh because that would just be weird. So now we're going to grab his left calf and make that layer six. Then his... Um, left foot and make that label, uh, layer 7 and then his left thigh and make that layer 8 uh, and now we're, we're going to do his head because you want the head to be behind the front arm because if the arm swings up you want it to be in front of the, the head otherwise you're going to chop off your head with your arm and that's kind of silly uh, so this is going to be our layer 9 and then um, and then we have two more, right? Because we're going to 11. So we're going to do his uh, bicep, his left arm, which is going to be 10. <clears throat> and then his uh, left hand arm thing is going to be 11. Okay, so now we have everything in the, its respective layer so that when it lays on top of each other, nothing's going to clip through weird or you know, I'm going to chop off the head or the leg or anything with the arm. And now what we're going to do is we're going to actually put it all together. And then uh, after we put everything together, we can uh, rotate our parts and make sure that they, the joints are where they need to be. And if they're not, again, you can just go back into your sprite editor by uh, clicking on your sprite sheet and then opening it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put the character together and then we'll talk about it after. So the base part of Kratos, uh, as his kind of character hierarchy, is going to be his torso. That's the, I mean, if you move your torso, everything's going to move with you, right? But if you rotate your arm, only your hand's going to move with the arm. So here we have the torso, and we're going to connect everything as a hierarchy to that uh, piece. So we can connect his head. So you just click and you drag down and you uh, kind of lay it on top. It's going to be parented to it. So the head is now a child of the torso so that when I uh, move the torso, the head's going to move with it, right? So now we uh, do that for each of our parts. So we're going to have the right hand is going to be parented to or is going to be the child of the right arm. So we'll just click and drag the hand onto the right arm. And we're going to do that with the left arm and hand. So the left hand is going to be a child of the left arm. <clears throat> and now we're going to, now we can do the left foot's connected to the left calf. And the left calf is connected to the left thigh. And then the same for the right leg. 
So it goes thigh, calf, foot, right? And then it goes arm, hand. Uh, and then so now we can connect the arm to the torso and the legs to the torso. Just because the torso is going to kind of be our, our main uh, part. Okay, great. So now if I move the torso, the whole character moves. But if I grab just the thigh and I rotate the thigh, just the leg's going to move, right? Thanks for watching this tutorial on how to input a character sprite sheet into Unity and split it up and put it together. And now our character is ready for animation and we will take care of that in a future tutorial. For now, we hope that you liked this video. And if you did, go ahead and give it a like and comment and subscribe. If you have any questions, please let us know. And we will see you next time.